the channel we use the force the action force that is from the action force we've got Karak the Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Valiverse Action Force unboxing and review and today on the channel we've got Karak but for all your Action Force needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in-stock items anything over $39 does ship free and today we take a look at this Karak figure which looks like a big bruiser a little bit different we've had a lot of army guys that look like army guys we've had the swarm trooper and the steel brigade which look like troopers now we're getting into some things similar to the bone collector but a little bit different as we get more of a big guy a beefy guy a bruiser guy man i'm here for that so i can't wait to dive into this and we're of course gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there so without further ado mr karak himself comes to the channel look at that big plastic window karak just one name like a young share is what this guy is like the action force logo right there looking good looking like something out of mythic legions on the side love that gladiator style helmet this is a guy that could fit in very well with your dreadnoughts and that's where i'll probably end up sticking in we'll see what happens there action force on this side and then on the back of course you got the big file card you got the action force points where do they lead i can't wait to find out big old cross sell and uh, qr code as well on this guy so i always like that kind of stuff looks like his name is reginald richards oh reginald uh, and he's from Midland, Texas. Texas, absolutely stunningly beautiful this time of year. At the end of February, I'll be down in the Dallas area. Hopefully, I'll be able to hit some stores. We'll see how things go. Uh, but very interesting here. And I assume this guy is a bad guy. Uh, I'm not going to read through all this right now, but I'll do my research afterwards. It looks good, but he looks like a guy that's pretty tough here. So uh, we'll see. But Karak, a big bruising guy. And you guys know, like I always say, I'm here for that kind of stuff. I uh, got this familiar background for the old action force. See you later. Goodbye. Big old plastic prison. There it is. Karak locked in there. It's the double sandwich plastic prison. Big fan of that. Off to the side. See you later. You do get the old plastic cellophane protector. Love that. See you later, Spider Man style. Goodbye. And oh boy, this guy's looking big and bad and mean. Can't wait to bop him out, see what's going on, see what all the fuss is about here. Because, oh, believe me, you, there's been fuss with this guy. Everybody's been fussing about that Karak. See you later. Goodbye. Now we're going to get down to it here. And, of course, we do get the Action Force stand. Say it all the time. I love stands with my figures. Happy to have that there. Got some weapons. Of course, we get extra hands. Now, I'm going to assume, and we've been talking about this in every single video, that I'm guessing the hands do not pull right off. Uh, unfortunately, you got to heat them up or put them in some hot water to get them off. Just not a big fan of that. And like I've said, I think that is fixed down the line. Uh, but we do have some interesting ones. We get two sets of hands. Uh, you get the hinges vertical and horizontal, so you can choose your own hand adventure. Let's see. Will they pull off? I'm going to guess a big no. And I would be guessing right. So that is that is just really frustrating, as I, I've said in the other reviews. I hate taking things from a shelf, having to walk all the way upstairs, put it in hot water, switch it, bring it all the way back, pose it in there, and then like, oh, wait, I want this hand instead. Then you have to go rinse and repeat. It's just a lot of work. I like the plug and play is what it is. But there's the old hands. Of course, just human hands here, just plain uh, white-skinned hands. No extra gloves, no anything like that going on with him. Uh, so that is uh, different than some of the other ones we've seen in this line so far. He does got a big old knife. Oh, boy. He's going to skin somebody. He's going to skin an alligator if he needs to. Got the nice leather handle there, the silver at the bottom, matching the silver on the blade. A really, really nice classic blade. A blade you don't want to be on the business end of. That's for sure there. So we do get that. Then he has a big old hatchet as a weapon. This guy, not messing around. He's got a hatchet and a blade. He's ready to fight the good fight if he has to. He's going to be like that, what was that Netflix show? It was like the Hatchet Hitchhiker guy or something. What a wild story that was. Uh, and I guess he's got a little of that in him too. But I love the blade on here, the black, the wrapped, the crudely wrapped handle on the bottom. Looks like my old baseball bat in Little League. And in high school, you'd wrap that thing up. It wouldn't be perfect, but it would get that grip just right because he's going to chop somebody's head off if he needs to. But nice hatchet with that one. Then we do get a little uh, bag for a weapon. And oh, look at that shotgun. Looks like something Leatherhead would have in the Turtles. Uh, the old alligator turtle there, but very, very cool. All in black, uh, shotgun style, really, really cool. And I love the holster for it. This is the kind of weapon you'd expect, like a guy that would be 
out there or a dreadnought type character would carry something like this. And what do you know, for the first time, I think, it is a backpack style, so it plugs right into his back. Absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. So that is a keeper. And then we get down to this guy, and he's got this crazy gladiator style helmet on. You got the red paint on the side, looking very, very cool. And you guys know I love masks. I love face paint. I love Harry Bipedal creatures. I love the little people, and I'm all in on this one here. Absolutely love that. Love that. I want to believe this isn't paint. This is the blood of his fallen enemies he put there on his mask. But a very cool gladiator style helmet in the silver. Got a dark wash shine to it. Here for this all day long. Absolutely do love that. And I also love the head here. He's got the bald head going on. He's got like dirty wash around the face. It almost kind of looks like blood against the skin tone. You can kind of convince yourself he's got blood splattered on his face a little bit, but he's got kind of a gritting teeth there. He's a guy that enjoys his work as this Karak here, looking really, really nice. Love the sculpting on the beard as well. I don't know, he seems like a, a brooding type guy. I don't know when he finds the time to really keep that beard going. But he must have a guy. He must have a guy that hooks him up. But it does look really good. You do got a vest with a wife beater underneath. You got the silver, uh, grayish color wife beater. You can remove this vest if you wanted to. Looks like he's got his team affiliation on the back uh, painted on there. That looks nice. Articulation wise, same as a lot of these other guys. You got the butterfly shoulders, biceps side to side, double jointed, pinless elbows, playing all the hits. Hands are removable with a little bit of work. Of course, heads removable as well. Side to side, back and forth, a little bit of up and down, not a whole lot. Got the hula hoop at the top. Got waist articulation. Got the big old splits on Karak. He's not messing around. And then, of course, you do got the drop down hips as well. Then you got the thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees, boot cut, ankle articulation up, down, side to side. Looking really, really nice there. Good articulation. Actually, great articulation on this. The pinless joints, always a game changer. Always looks really good. I like that he has his vest on here because he does got those big old traps on him that are a little bit of an eyesore, but they're hidden underneath this vest that works really good. Nice vest here. It's all leather, kind of brownish color. And then you got like the fur line, not actual, but sculpted in fur. Looks really good, especially against the green and black attack legs down below. Of course, you got a holster for his knife. You got a holster for a sidearm here. You can pull that bad boy out. I I'm sure we've seen this gun before, but you got the nice leather on there. Always love it when they add a little extra color. It really spruces up these weapons, uh, if you ask me. But you got the sidearm holder right there. So you've got a little handle on the back of his belt there if needed for something. Uh, just a very, very good, brooding, big, tough-looking guy. I love stuff like this uh, because I love the Army aspect of the G.I. Joe brand and, of course, Action Force, which I mix in between, of course, as you guys know. But you got to have guys like the Dreadnoughts. you got to have some guys that are off the beaten path because everybody's a military guy. It gets a little old every once in a while. You need some sci-fi elements. I know old-school G.I. Joe guys hate that. I was of the age that loved that introduction into the G.I. Joe brand. And then you get guys like the Dreadnoughts and things like that that are more basic, more, you know, a flamethrower or a blowtorch or a chainsaw or a big knife or a bow and arrow. A little point of difference goes a long way to mix up the story and the stuff you can create with a guy like this, I think, is really cool. And I really do like this guy, especially with the helmet. Actually, I like him both ways. I like him with the helmet and I like him with the helmet off. I'm going to have to figure out which way to display this guy. But feels really good, nice joints, just a really good figure all around. Not a bad, bad one at all. Does he fit on the action force stand? Man, these guys really fight you going on the stand, which is a little crazy, but he does fit. Got him on the stand right there so you can see how he squares up. Of course, put him next to Flint, the old Flint G.I. Joe test. He's a little bit bigger than Flint. I think that does work out. He should be a big brooding guy. Uh, Flint, kind of a middle, middle of the road type guy. And you put him next to Sergeant Slaughter, very similar figures, uh, very similar. A lot of reuse off of the Sergeant Slaughter here. Uh, you can see a lot of the similarities with the different uh, paints, of course, but it looks like he uses a lot of the same uh, from uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Not the same arms, obviously, and stuff like that, but there is some reuse there with the torso and things like so. And then, of course, the old Tim Kennedy figure. Always loved Tim Kennedy and his time in MMA. Uh, very cool he gets a figure represented right here as well. So you can kind of see how these guys square up together. Looking really good if you ask me out there. But what say you guys? You picking up Karak? This is one of those ones where I can see everybody not buying everything. But this is a guy that would fit in really good as Zartan's muscle or something like that along the way. Uh, be with Zarana as well. Maybe Zarana's bodyguard. Who knows? I think there is a use for him in other ways than just the action force if uh, you get creative out there. But let me know your thoughts on Karak in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Make sure you like the video. Give it the old Hacksaw Jim Duggan thumbs up. It always supports the channel. 
Don't forget to subscribe to this very channel as we're unboxing a lot of G.I. Joe and a lot of Action Force on top of everything else under the sun. You don't want to miss a video, that is for sure. And then even more content over on the Patreon. Truly your best way to support the channel and videos like this is being a Patreon member. Early access to videos, Q&As, bonus content, you name it. A lot going on over there. A lot going on over at Pro Wrestling Tees as well. Search Kyle Peterson. You can all support the channel by picking up a t-shirt. And then don't forget to hit me up on social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Instagram the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Karak, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.